Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator. Miles, yes, it does take us back some years. I want to begin by saying how honored I am and very privileged to be having this conversation with Brother Yussi. Um, we've had many conversations before, but this is quite a unique one with an audience and with no doubt some questions and so forth. I want to begin by sharing with him at the very start here two experiences, one which take us back to 1974 and one which is fairly recent occurred up in Bartica where I am at present. The one that we shared in 1974, he may remember it. It's an interesting one too because as the last reference to myself as a Jesuit and himself, it occurred on the feast of our founder, St. Ignatius of Loyola, the 31st of July. And I remember saying to my brothers that time we lived in Brickdam, please excuse me, I am leaving now at 8 o'clock to go up to Buxton for the, um, the emancipation celebrations. I always go there because I think it's one of the most wonderful cultural experiences I had. And I've been away, I had just come back myself, I'd been away at that time for about four years in Mexico. And I see the Mexican ambassador here, Bienvenido. <laughs> um, and I went there and it was absolutely enthralling and of course many of those youngsters were trained by Brother Yussi in various ways and they presented scenes from the history of the slaves and their struggle for emancipation they read Martin Carter's po poems a lot of them they would re read it I got vividly and the way it was set up, they were on top of the railway line like this, and we sat below, so you were looking up at the stage, as it were. It was a perfect setting. And that was just the beginning of the, the emancipation uh, movement in, in Buxton at the time, the celebrations, that is. But it was wonderful. The young people were just extraordinary, really very good indeed. In fact, one of them, I can't remember his name, but he came up to UG as a student, and won the, the, both the elocution prize and there was another prize available. It wasn't the debate, I think it was a debate. Did very well indeed. And now I think he's back there lecturing. Can't remember his name, but it'll, it'll come. Um, <clears throat> what I want to say to you, see, is that was a very rich experience coming from the youth because they really, you really felt that these people, these young people were entering into their history as a result of Brother Yussi's encouragement and so forth. And that was important for me. Now let me bring you right up to last December. And, and this for me was a very bad experience. I got together with seven churches back in Bartica. Bartica is full of churches. On my every street there are two. But seven of them I brought together and I said, look, it's Christmas time, we should do something public in this area because every weekend there's some visitor from Jamaica coming and we're getting this, you know, these reggae things and so forth. I said, we should do something. Let us get together and do a festival of nine lessons with carols and let make sure everybody can join in at any time, blast the place open. We'll have it right in front of the market where everybody gathers. We met, they all agreed. It was the Anglicans, Catholics, the Presbyterians, the Nazarene, the um, Salvation Army, and the Wesleyans, and then who were the, the others? There's one other. However, the Baptists, the Baptists came. We all agreed of what we will do, we will, each church would supply three singers, a male voice, a female voice, and a youth voice. Everybody, everybody said so. Right, we agreed. When we had, when the day arrived, when they should all come, the males came. Some males came. Females were out there in their number, but not one youth turned up. I had to say, Salvation Army. I said, but what's happened? You normally, are your youth, I usually see with that band regularly. What happened to them? She said, I just don't know. I just, I'm amazed at this. It was a captain, a female captain. She said, I'm amazed at this. I said, well, I thought it might have been us, but everybody seemed to be suffering from this. What is going on with our youth today that doesn't take us back to 1974 when they were so active in living out their history and really making something of it in their lives? 
So I'm going to ask, having said that, I'm going to ask AUC perhaps to offer a comment on that experience in relationship to what went on in 1974 at Boxford. Thank you, Brother Chairman and Brother Malcolm, sisters and brothers. Well, you, you got me there. Something, this chap Bob Dylan has a thing that he sings to somebody. Um, I was repeating it last night. You've read all of Fitzgerald's books, but something is happening and you don't know what it is, do you, Mr. Jones? <laughs> I'm in that position. I, do, I don't know what it is, but we can explore it. The, I like that. I welcome that span of experience that you have taken. The, I hope you're not trying to be what some people will call dialectic, but it comes out that way. The, 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 um, 1974 and, 19, and 2014. 13, 13, 13. 13. I don't know. I don't know. 